it was hard, and it's been hard. I'm, I'm gonna cry about. Whew, I almost cried about talking about it right now, and so it's still fresh, and I just appreciate you guys waiting. What's up, Fee Nation? So it's been a long time since we've posted a video. Like a really, really long time, almost three months now. And we wanted to make a video to explain to you why. So basically what happened is three major events happened at the same time. Our jobs got really busy. We had camera and content hiccups, and then we had a major death in the family. So a culmination of these things happened and we just got somehow really overwhelmed and really burnt out on making videos like yes. filming them and then also editing them it just it does take a lot of time there's a lot of behind the scenes that you, you guys didn't see so and don't see we got really busy with our jobs yes we both work i mean youtube is awesome and everything but it can't pay the bills full time so uh we have been working six days a week and that leaves us one day off to try and film and it's just not really um enough time to film but yeah. the good news is that with that, we are making more money so that when it is time to open the world and we can travel again if that ever happens, then we'll have more funds to go for a longer amount of time. And we have had a lot of fun filming videos in the United States and we had a blast in San Francisco, but we burnt ourselves out on the format that we were trying to create for those videos because filming in the US is a lot different than filming in a foreign country. It's because we know the US and the customs so well that I think actually makes it harder. It does. It's like really comfortable in the United States because like we've grown up here. It's yeah. basically utopia compared to like hopping on a ferry in the Philippines, hoping that you're gonna get there on yeah. time and then like everything else working out. So that content internationally is a lot more fun to film because right. we're having we more experiences. have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. And I feel like we can portray our excitement because we literally have no idea what's going on more easily. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Yeah, whereas in America, we have a car. We, we're not renting a car most of the time when we're it's international. It's just too easy. We just drive up in the parking lot. We're like, okay, we're here at this donut shop, like yeah. whatever. I, I don't know, like it is fun. It is exciting, mm -hmm. but it's just different. Yeah, and so I think we were burning ourselves out on like trying to come up with things and like, not come up with issues, but like we were having just a hard time with like filling a 10 minute video with content in the United States. That to us was new and fresh because to a lot right. of you guys it's new and fresh because you're from somewhere else, but to us it, it's not new and fresh. Yeah. So we're not like manufacturing happiness or anything. It is exciting to us. We still want to go to all these places that we filmed, but it's not as new and fresh as a new culture and yeah. new people and you don't know anyone there. Yeah. No one looks like you and the food tastes completely different. Like. It is completely different than filming internationally. It is completely different. And I think we just got really burnt out on the whole process of it. Yeah. Which is like, honestly, not our fault and not anyone else's fault. You know, we feel bad that we haven't posted something in a really long time because people have been asking us in our comments and we feel so bad. And so that was the first thing. And then the second thing was our new camera setup. So if you've noticed, we have we have a new camera. It, our quality is way clearer, but what comes with that is that it's really hard to edit. A lot of headaches. I think when I came up with this new camera thing last fall, I kind of bit off more than I can chew because Leah got really good at color editing on our old camera, but that was a $600 Canon camera that we took with us to Antarctica. Yeah. And it just it got it had home. a lot of dust in it. Yeah volcanic ash from the Antarctic island. I mean, Antarctica is not nice to anybody. So it basically broke itself. We filmed on it. We used it until it almost stopped working. Yeah. yeah. And then we were like, okay, it's finally time to upgrade. We save enough money. And we got the new, I mean, total was like $8,000 setup. And that was a lot of money for us at the time. And I was like, well, if we're going to do it, Leah, we have to do it right. And I yeah. think that was a big mistake. I think we should have had more of a learning curve. So if you go back and look at some of our LA videos, they are, we're pink and we're blue. And I'm trying to like do all this color stuff in the back end. And I yeah. can't get the lighting right to save my life. It looks really bad. I mean, <laughs> I was practicing a lot to film at the site. And then Leah was practicing a lot to correct what I was doing wrong in post-production. But and also like keeping ourselves to the schedule of posting once a week. So. I had to figure out as much as I possibly could within a week's time, every single week, like trying to build off of the knowledge I had to edit these videos and color correct them. Cause it's just, I mean, it's a lot of work and I, I'm nowhere near a professional when it comes to that kind yeah. of thing. When the channel started, I edited videos and we clipped them together and it was really easy. And then I was like, let's step up the quality, handed it off to her. She did an amazing job. And because it was so good, I was like, well, what if it was just that much crispier? <laughs> All this stuff is gonna look amazing. Like it's just you're just gonna transition. And she was like, 
Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> like, this is not the same as this new camera setup with all these different picture profiles on it. And so there was yeah. just, uh, I pushed you too hard. And I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Because honestly, we've learned a lot about ourselves and like what we can handle. So that was like the second reason why we got burnt out. And then the third reason was because we had a very unfortunate death in the family, which really rocked our world, yes. especially for Zach. It, it wasn't, I didn't see it coming, it was my grandmother on my mom's side, we called her Mimi, and she really pioneered this life of travel and, and making that normal. Um, I had the opportunity to go to college next to her hometown, and so I got to hang out with her a lot for two years and really get to know her. Um, and when we said we're going to cut ties with America and buy one-way ticket to Thailand, the hardest part of that thought process and getting that going was you're gonna miss hanging out with Mimi a lot. Yeah. And so it was very difficult to leave and I kinda had to accept that when I got back things weren't gonna be the same. And they were because she was an, she did an amazing job at just being there for you, listening, always being attentive to what you needed and just, it was awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that our relationship didn't change after we left overseas. Um, and we've been so many different places. We happened to be in Texas um, at the time when she had a stroke and I was able to go see her in the hospital before she passed away. But we... It just kind of been in like a travel fog, I think. We have, and it's, and it's really, it's really sad, but also amazing that we weren't in Antarctica when she passed yeah. away and I yeah. could see her before she passed away. We weren't in Belarus or, you know, Bulgaria or anywhere like that where we had to get on like a midnight flight back. So for us to be in Texas and be conveniently located next to her was um, really, really awesome. But she, she pioneered the travel bug for me because she went on a lot of trips with her significant other, her husband, Carol, and they went to Cuba and Mexico, and they were in the palace in Cuba when Castro was coming in and they were shutting everything down, and they were in Italy when the Red Brigade was going around and trying to take over Rome, and it's just like all these exciting stories of travel back in the day, and just gave me the travel bug, not to mention that she um, sponsored some of my trips. The first one I went over the Atlantic to to Italy was because of her. I went to Belize in Mexico to do some mission work and that was because of her. Um, she got me to go on this crazy hiking trip that was 12 days in the New Mexico wilderness. That was because of her. So it, this travel channel really wouldn't exist and I don't know if I would ever have met you guys if it wasn't for Mimi. So when we say major death, it was truly a major death, and I just yeah. appreciate everything she's done for me. And then I got 91 years, well I didn't, she's 63 years older than me. But I got that much time with her, um, because it it was hard, and it's been hard. I'm, I'm gonna cry about, whew, I almost cried about talking about it right now. And so it's still fresh, and I just appreciate you guys waiting, because there have just been so many factors, like we said that have happened in the past three months since we posted the last video and uh, I appreciate your patience and what to expect from us in the future is I'm not gonna promise too much so at this point we're gonna try and do one video a month because again our jobs are really really busy right now so for the foreseeable future we're gonna try and do one video a month um, and keep this channel up I'm pretty sure we can stick to that yeah. um, and it's not like this is over no it's, it's happening, it's not, continuing Not on. even close. I mean, yeah. that's that's why it's like temporary pain for like the long-term gain because we are working so much right now, we don't have time to film the content, but once the world opens up, again, if it ever does. We'll have the money. Yeah, time. and we just go for years. I mean, we'll be talking to you guys for three years in a row, we didn't stop. So yeah. I am looking forward to that because that is gonna be super exciting. I mean, like you guys have already heard, we have the Africa trip planned. I have everything for South America planned. Like we have the whole itinerary for these six months trips and um, we just can't execute them because we don't want to put a lot of people at risk. Um, yeah. So And ourselves. Yeah. So, even though we're vaxxed, we just don't wanna, you know, it's just hard. It's just a hard decision to make yeah. right now. It, does, it, so. it doesn't seem ethical to, to be yeah. doing stuff like that. Um, not to mention, we are saving money for those trips in the future and maybe a condo so let us know in the comment section below if you are interested in any content regarding us buying a beach condo um, because she loves the ocean we've kind of figured out a place in the united states where we could call home for the foreseeable future so that's making us uh interested in well we're trying to figure out if it's viable for us to buy a condo so it could be very exciting. I'm really excited about it. Yes, so f fingers crossed, but like I said, I don't know if you guys would even be interested in that because we're a travel channel. We're not like house hunters here, you know? It's almost like a 
we're uh, kind of going towards like a Tim and Finn. Yeah. <laughs> type of channel right now. It's a house restoration. Without, yeah. Yeah. Without it being that though. Because we tried to keep it travel. We didn't want to make it too much lifestyle content. Um, you know, minimalism, whatever all that stuff is, those key terms on YouTube. We've tried to keep to travel. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are interested, let us know. Yeah. But going forward, it's going to be one video a month and um, we'll try to get it back to once a week, but we'll see. Yeah. So thanks for, you know, spending the time and watching this video. We are so sorry that it took us so long. It's just sometimes, I mean, I think everybody can relate to this life just like hits you all at once and things just don't happen the way you think they will happen. So we really appreciate you watching this video and letting us explain to you why we haven't posted anything in a really long time. And we are really sorry about that, but we're gonna get it back out there, hopefully sooner rather than later. Yes, fingers crossed. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching. What's up, P-Nation? <laughs> <laughs> Done this in a while.